count down song count count down song 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 count down song Couch cap down such. Couch couch such. Couch cap down such. Couch couch such. Couch cap down such. Couch couch such. Couch cap down such. Couch down such. Couch cap down such. Couch down such. Couch cap down such. Couch down such. Couch cap down such. Couch Count down song. Count count down song. 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 What kind of song? Count count down song. Count count down song. Count count down song. Couch cap 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 down song. Cou
So today you are going to need this fun blue foam sheet you should have in your bag. You'll need this bag that has all these little animal stickers and popsicle sticks. You'll need this super fun looking bag that has all the sparkles and the sequins. You need that. You will need this blue folder. You'll need a few things out of it. You will need these fun animal printouts that have a check sheet, a checklist of all the animals in the back as well. And you will need your glue. And the only thing today that's not provided in your bag that you'll need is you will need some scissors. Don't forget those. So that's everything you'll need for our last day of missions and activities. So let's get right to it and see if you can make it through. Let's get to our last mission. You ready? All right, guys, we're here for our final mission. I know, super sad, but super excited. Hope you guys have enjoyed it this week. Hope you guys have enjoyed playing the games, but we got one last one for you. And so today we've got Agent Kristen and Agent Carly going at it one last time. And so today there's lots of strange creatures out in the sea, right? And scientists all over the world are trying to hunt all these strange creatures down. So today we've got a sea scavenger hunt. As you can tell, I've got our, our checklist here. And so our contestants, our trainees, are going to hunt all these creatures down and whoever finds the most is the winner. And we're gonna go until they're all found. So no quitting early, gotta find them all. So we're gonna see who is our last winner for the week. So, you ready? All right, and three, two, one, go. Let's see, sea creatures like to hide. They're pretty hard to find sometimes. I hear octopuses like to camouflage. Is that how you say that? Octopuses? That's right. Octopi. I don't know, they're hiding all over the place. You know how sea creatures like to do it. I think I see one more. Those sea creatures, they like to hide well. Where could it be? Do you guys know? Oh. I see it. Oh, all right. We've got our last sea creature found. So let's do a tally. All right, Agent Carly, what we got? Agent Kristen, what we got? Uh oh. Oh, look at that. Ten. Oh man, what a good way to finish the week on our tie. All right, well, good job, trainees. Thanks for joining us. Hope you guys can enjoy this mission. guys welcome back i hope you enjoyed your very last mission of the week it's sad i know but it's okay got an awesome bible story for you today and today we're going to be talking about this guy you know who this is right he looks a lot like moses but today this is jonah we're talking about jonah so again I would encourage you guys to go read the story on your own, or if, whether you've got a children's Bible or a storybook with it, with the story of Jonah, or you can watch a video of the story, you know, whatever it might be. I would just encourage you guys as a family to, to read or, or watch it together on your own as well. So this story can be found in Jonah chapters one through three. 
So Jonah here, Jonah was told by God to do something. What God wanted Jonah to do was to go to the city of Nineveh over here. Now Nineveh was a big, big city, but Nineveh was full of people doing a lot of really bad, bad things. So bad, in fact, and there, there are so many people doing so many bad things that God thought he was, he was gonna have to get rid of the whole city, but he didn't wanna do that. He wanted the people to change. So God told Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh and tell them what God had for them, that God wanted a relationship with them and God wanted them to change all their horrible, bad things that they were doing. So you think Jonah did it because God told him to? But what Jonah actually did was instead of going to the Nineveh like God wanted him to, he hopped on a boat and went in the opposite direction of Nineveh. He did not want to go there. He knew it was a bad city and he did not He did not want to go. So he hopped on a boat with a bunch of other people and went in the opposite direction. But God wanted him to go to Nineveh. So while he was on the boat, a bad storm came and rocked the boat and rocked the boat and rocked the boat and rocked the boat, rocked the boat until Jonah eventually ended up in the ocean and I'm sure he was scared, thought he was, he was going to die. But God sent a big old fish. This looks like a fish, right? Big sea creature. Well, we're going to pretend it's that. So God sent a big fish while Jonah was in the ocean, thought he was going to drown. And he sent that fish, and the fish, whoop, look at that, swallowed Jonah. Oh, whoa. He swallowed, swallowed Jonah right up. And let's see if I can get it to work. Oh, he stayed. Whoop, look at that. He stayed in that fish for three days. Three days he stayed inside the belly of this fish. And wouldn't you know it, Jonah had some time to rethink his decisions. And while he was in there, he realized what he was doing and prayed and prayed and prayed, talked to God and told him, how great God was and thank, he thanked God for saving him and Jonah decided that he was going to go to Nineveh and do what God had asked him to do and deliver God's message. So, the fish spit Jonah up safely onto dry land. So Jonah was safe on shore and wouldn't you know it, he stayed true to what he said, told God and he went to Nineveh, and he went all over Nineveh and told the people that they needed to change their bad ways, all the bad things they were doing, they needed to turn to God. And that if they did that, then God wouldn't have to destroy their city. And because, because Jonah did that, because he shared God's message, message with all these people in Nineveh, it actually got all the way to the king, and the king himself told everyone as well, told everybody that they needed to change their ways and turn to God, and so that God would save them and not destroy their city, change their evil ways. Pretty cool, right? How Jonah, just one person, had a message from God and shared that with people, and then everyone ended up hearing about it, and the city was saved. So, that brings me to our big idea for today. But I want to show you guys something. Ready? Watch this. All right. So our big idea for today is my faith grows deeper when I share my story. You see, in our story, Bible story today, when Jonah went to Nineveh and shared with the people of Nineveh who were doing all sorts of terrible things, but he went and shared with them God's message for them about how God loved them and wanted them to change their ways. And what happened? So many, the, his message spread and so many people, including the king himself, they changed their ways and they turned towards God. See, amazing things happen when we share our stories 
the message that God has given us, when we share that with other people, God does amazing things. And that deepens our faith because, because that's what our faith is all about. Jesus loves us so much, and we know that, we believe that, we want to share what his love has done for us. We want to share that with others. So, I wanted to show you guys a little bit something about what that kind of looks like. So, we've got my friend, my friend right here, I'm going to call him uh, Bob, my friend Bob, right here, and he and I are good friends. Let me, let me draw me. I'm gonna make myself blue, cause blue's pretty cool, right? All right. So there's me. I'm dancing, got some sweet dance moves, right? So there's me. I'm gonna put myself next to my friend Bob up here. There we go. I like to hang out, I, me and Bob, we hang out a lot, right? We're, we're good friends. And, but I want him, I want to share my story with him. I, he doesn't know about Jesus. He doesn't have a relationship with Jesus. So I want to share my story with him, share about what God has done in my life. I want to share that with him so he can come to know Jesus too. And you know what? I want as many people to know about Jesus as possible. I got, we got this guy all the way over here who doesn't know about Jesus either. But he's, he's all the way over here, right? He might seem way far away. So how are we gonna get as many people to know about Jesus as possible? You just start by sharing your story, even if it's just with one person. So we'll watch what happens when I share Jesus with my friend Bob. And I start with, with just sharing Jesus with one person. Let's see. That was quick, right? That was pretty cool, right? So I started just by sharing my story with my friend Bob. And then if he accepts Jesus, he's going to want to tell other people too. So he, he fell and told the next person. And then it just goes right on down the line like you just saw. And they tell the next person, they tell another person. And it just, you have no idea how many people you can affect by just sharing your story with somebody. And that's one of the ways that our faith grows deeper is by sharing our story and sharing the love of Jesus with other people. Pretty cool, huh? All right, here are some discussion questions for you guys to go over.
a second cause we all need Jesus You ain't alone man, we all got a reason To call on him in all different seasons It's hard to find someone you can really trust Harder to find someone with unconditional love It's a two in one with our father from up above So we don't gotta worry, he will always be enough All we is follow you All we gotta do is follow you All we gotta do is follow you
right, guys. I hope you guys have really enjoyed some good discussions this week as a family and have really enjoyed worshiping together as a family. And I hope that that's something that you guys can do together often, even once we're done here with VBS. I hope that's something that you guys can keep doing together as a family. So it's almost time for our craft. But before we get to that, we've got to go over a memory verse one more time. You guys are doing great with it. Keep practicing. Remember, we've got until Monday at 5 for you guys to, to post all your videos or uh, pictures of memory verse and crafts and Bible story and all that. So there's still time. And even after that, it's always good to have verse, verses memorized. So keep working on it. But let's go over it one more time together. You ready? Ephesians 3.18 Grass how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Such a good verse. I really do hope, I hope you guys are working on that and have that memorized and can remember that for years to come. So let's get to our craft for today, shall we? So today we are going to be making a family fishbowl. Every family likes to have pets, right? Maybe some of you guys have your own fish tanks, but if not, we're gonna be making a fish bowl together today as a family. So what you'll need is this blue foam sheet right here. And what you're gonna do is do like I did and cut it in half and make some wa a wave pattern up top. Or I guess if you wanna just make one big giant fish bowl, you could, you could just do it. Cut a little wave pattern at the top if you are at the top here maybe if you just want to make a giant one but we did this cut it in half and made it wavy up there at the top you'll need your glue and your popsicle sticks and, uh, and what you do is you glue one at the bottom, like that, for the base of the fishbowl. And then glue some here at the sides, like that. And grab one more here. And then glue some here to make the top. And then you can take however, however much you want of your little gems, your sequence, and glue them along the bottom for your aquarium rocks. And then you've got all, all these different stickers, fish stickers that you can place in your aquarium because every, every household aquarium has a dolphin in it, right? I know mine does. But then once you've done all that and once you let it dry, what I did I waited until I glued everything down and I waited for it to dry and then we cut out the extra corners to give it that fishbowl shape. So hope you guys can do this together as a family and don't forget to post pictures let me see I want to see you guys' crafts and see what how those turn out but that's that's all. That is our last craft. That's that's everything, guys. We are done. That's that's it. Which, you know what that means? That means you guys get to go into your blue folder here and take this out. You guys are officially no longer trainees. You are official. S-E-A agents. So you get your official certificate showing that you are, in fact, an S-E-A agent. And you can have your parents write your name and date on there so they can, so you guys can rem remember this. Be proud. I know I am. All right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you guys have learned a lot and really been able to grow in your relationship with Jesus together as a family. Know that 
we're here for you. If you guys ever need anything, please just let me know and we'll help any way we can. Uh, we're going to be praying for you guys. I want to pray for you guys uh, right now before we finish off here. Ready? High five, high ten, hands together, under the chin. God, I thank you so much for this time. God, I thank you for, for everybody who's watched and participated. And I pray that this was a good time for, for all of us to be able to grow in our faith and to spend time with our families and to grow in our relationships with you together as a family. And I pray that all of us as families would continue to do so together. We love you and pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Don't forget, you guys have until Monday at 5 to, to send me pictures or post pictures or videos. And on Monday, I will let you know who the big winner is. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.